Okay, so today we're going to be working on the distributive property again. Um, yesterday we talked a little bit about factoring and we used the rainbow method of uh, finding all of the factors and then finding the greatest common factor that two numbers shared to apply the reverse distributive property. Today we're going to continue to use um, to apply the reverse distributive property or factoring, but I'm going to teach you a different method on how to do it. It's called the birthday cake method, and I think you will see why. So make sure that you have your notes out. Um, there are two columns. One is with a Venn diagram, and one is with the birthday cake method. We're going to stick with the birthday cake method um, to start with, and then we'll kind of go back and forth a little bit. Alrighty. So, if we have this problem here that says 45 plus 15, we know that um, we're going to want to factor or apply the reverse distributive property. So, the first thing that I'm going to do here is, hang on, I'm just going to make my pen a little bit smaller so I have more space. Okay. So, what I'm going to do first is I need to make sure I, I have plenty of space up top. So, I'm going to start at the bottom of my screen, actually. So, you might want to start in the bottom of your box. And I'm going to do, it looks really similar to a division sign. And I'm going to put 45 plus 15. Okay. Now, I'm taking a look at these numbers. And I just want to grab something off the top of my head that I know goes into both. It doesn't need to be the greatest common factor yet. Um, I know that 45 and 15 both end in 5, so I know that 5 has to go into it. So I'm going to put 5 into that, and 5 into 45 is 9, and 5 into 15 is 3. Okay, so now I have 5, and 9 plus 3. So if I wanted to rewrite that with parentheses, I would do 5 times 9 plus 3. But I'm taking a look at the stuff inside my parentheses here, and I notice that 9 and 3 actually still share a common factor. So I know that I'm actually not quite done. So what I'm going to need to do is, I'm going to erase this here. Oh, it's not going to erase. Lovely. There we go. Now it's gone. Okay, so now I'm going to do another one of these little things here. You can kind of start to see why it's called a birthday cake. And now I'm going to pick a number that goes into both 3 and 9. Well, I know that that's just 3. I know that 3 goes into 9 three times, and that 3 goes into 3 just once. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take these two numbers, the two numbers that I put into the original numbers, and I'm going to multiply them together. So 5 times 3 is 15. So I have 15. And then in the parentheses, it's going to be 3 plus 1. And that came from this stuff. Now, I can actually apply the distributive property to double check my work. So if I do 15 times 3 and 15 times 1, I would get 45, because 15 times 3 is 45. And then 15 times 1 is just 15. So I have 45 plus 15. So it does check. So my final answer is 15 times 3 plus 1. Okay. This time I want you to work in small groups just with the people around you and use the birthday cake method to factor this expression of 30 plus 6. So go ahead and pause the video and then come back. Okay. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the 30 plus 6 down here. And I'm going to get a number that goes into both of these. I know 3 does. 3 goes into 30 10 times, and 3 goes into 6 twice. Now, since 10 and 2 are both even, and I know that 2 can also go into them, so we're not quite done, they share a factor. So, 2 goes into 10 5 times. And five goes in, or two goes into two once. Now five and one don't have any common factors, so I know that I'm done. So I multiply this stuff. Three times two is six, and then 
this stuff goes in the parentheses, so 5 plus 1. And I can quickly check it, 6 times 5, 6 times 5 does equal 30, and 6 times 1 does equal 6. Okay, this, I want you to try it by yourself. So go ahead and factor 18 plus 24. Okay, hopefully you made sure you paused the video and gave yourself enough time to solve. All right, so birthday cake method here. So I have 18 plus 24. I know that 2 goes into both of those numbers since it's even. They're both even. 2 goes into 18 9 times. 2 goes into 24 12 times. Okay, now I have to look. Do 9 and 12 share any factors? Yep, they do. They share 3. 3 goes into 9 3 times, and 3 goes into 12 4 times, and 3 and 4 do not share factors, so I am finished, other than 1, of course. So I multiply this stuff together, 2 times 3 is 6. This stuff is what goes in the parentheses, 3 plus 4, and I can quickly check here. 6 times 3 does equal 18, and 6 times 4 does equal 24. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Good luck with your task cards today. You're going to be using the same task cards as you did yesterday, um, only this time I want you to solve it using the birthday cake method. All right, have a good one.